Good Sunday morning, everybody. So here's your little treat for the beginning of this market watch today. Uh, this is actually, I was requested to show what my working environment looks like. There you go. This is what my uh, my kitchen table looks like at this point in time. Hmm. 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 Look at that. Look at that. Look at all of those cards. And you all wonder why it's a struggle to deck build. This is a so what my life is like. Well, um, let's dig on into Market Watch, shall we? I hope you guys are having a good, happy Sunday here at the M Cool 40 Market Watch. Make sure you guys are subscribed. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the nice little look through the uh, the scope of the kitchen table out there, and uh, yeah. I said make sure you subscribe, right? It must be my old age. I must be losing it. I'll tell you what I'm not losing, though. My keen son's on the market. I bought some Ignister Islands this morning at a whole uh, $6 a piece before the buyout. And, uh, yeah, we left in our set. Ordered from Core, so I didn't have to worry about getting canceled. Um, yeah, so Ignister Islands, shouldn't need to tell you this, but when you announce a Link 1 that actually does stuff, I think puts the deck at rogue status now. Uh, you're looking at 18, 19, 20 bucks here. I'll refresh to see if these have gone up any wilder. Nope, still, still floating about the same. We got nine listings. All right, eye contact, aw, 10 cents. Idol Reborn, Eyes Ritual, Eyes Love Fusion, Eye Shadow. I love these puns, but, the biggest thing that's gone up has been the Ignister Island, and of course, the Ad Ignisters. I'll also refresh here for you guys too. Uh, I chee 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 chees. Um, about eleven bucks. Uh, Picaris. Hmm. These were a little bit more earlier, but all right. Pulling about four to fives. Um, Dark Templars. I'll be honest with you. The core is still not a lot of money. Like, if you asked me, like, if you'd spend a lot of money on this, I think still not crazy, all right? Remember, stuff never got reprinted, so they just dodged this. So, yeah, they've gone up. If you were wanting to pick this up, I'd wait a little bit. Card's prices will probably go back down, but the support was a good push in the right direction. Ah, of course, which of the Black Rose? Hmm. He's, uh, $200, and then 40 bucks is going to be your lowest first ed, but, uh... Shifty eyes. So we did get that new Black Rose support announced this morning, and of course, you have to come over here and you have to start buying out our lovely copies. <sighs> well, it doesn't surprise me. It's an old ulti from ABYR. Sky Striker stuff. Evidently, Kagaris are bought back. I see she's a cruiser still 60s. Evidently, these Kagaris got bought back out. I'm not quite sure. Wow. 80 bucks. Hey, you guys, it, it's been Shizuku and Kagari, all right? Like, we go from Shizuku to Kagari. I think we went back to Shizuku and back to Kagari. I think this is the second cycle of buyouts at this point in time. This is actually getting dumb. Like, I don't actually, I don't actually get this. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not a Sky Striker expert or anything. Rose are still 12s. Kainas. Yeah, they're creeping up a little bit, finally. Huh. $7 afterburners. <laughs> I love it. Uh, that, that, I think that's to the snow. Oh, nope. Sky Striker tokens have officially, I guess they've been this for a little while. Do you know Sky Striker tokens are 550? I, I, uh, I kind of feel like we, we missed something on this, but, uh, hey, value, I guess. All right. Ulti Stratos is back at 90 bucks, on up to 95, on up to 99. Um, I know that this card has been a rough ride. Those of you that bought these at 60s, good job. I, uh, you're my hero. You're the uh, you're the real Yu-Gi-Oh guru out there. You got in at that super good entry point, and you got rewarded for it. Ninety nine dollars. All right. Huh. Why in the actual crap, man? You Thunder Dragon Colossus players. I this card's banned, by the way. I just I need to re bring that up, but. Man, you guys think this card is coming back at some point. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Super Fossil Digs are evidently... Ooh, moldy. 
All right, then my Voss Dick's ten dollars. Holy crap! Not in this life. I have never spent that money on that. That's disgusting. All right, well, hey, fossil digs are going back up. Anybody shocked? Anybody? No, nah, nobody's shocked. Animate Art Artisor, this card has no idea what it's doing. I, I sold some at 50s. They went back up. I, I don't know what to say about this. Thank you for reminding me, though. I need to... Oh. Oh, hey, they went back down. Good news. I remember when this was $100 two days ago. All right, you guys remember two days ago? Two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. So much money. Oh, my God. Woo! Chambers are $40. Holy man. Really? Woo! I'm so glad I got this deck. Book of Moon. Um, do you guys know that Secret Book of Moons are 10 bucks? I don't know how many of you guys kind of pay attention to Book of Moon, but they're creeping. Not in a good way. Egyptian God the Slime. These are 18 bucks. These are creeping back up as well. So um, these were 20 down to 15, reversing course back up to 20. All right, I'll take that. Cycle Reader. Mm. Dual Terminal Copies, 20 bucks. $5 Light Play Copies. That's for the OTS. Then you got eh, five, six book copies down here for the Hidden Arsenal copies. At least we have copies in circulation for people, all right? Could be a lot worse. I think I've noticed with a lot of things is uh, a lot of players don't actually have the cards for play. At least they're there. Evidently, Forrest got bought out, too. I... First Chamber, now Forrest, now adding Nister stuff. Whew, 23 bucks, by the way. Well... Um, if you guys got some forests and you want some free real estate, literal free money, um, get to it, I guess. OTS 14 is also doing some crazy things, I guess. Uh, still 110 on the Nibiru's, Super Polys are still at 60s, Tomb Kingdoms are 39s, Parallel Exceeds, 5, 6 bucks, Pointers, calm down a little bit, Messengers, 3 bucks. All right, so nothing that we already didn't know. All right, basic stuff. Reborn Tangus. You guys know that Ultra Tangus are money? Seven, eight bucks, by the way. Hmm. I love me Tangus. Seven bucks. Oh, boy. Let's play the Commons Five Head for Dollars. Easy stuff. Uh, I caught this on the last market watch. I just wanted to re-update this. Um, the Magistas of Verres, Magistas, are back down to the fourteen dollar. Well, they're floating at like thirteen. Uh, but yeah, these did get bought out, unfortunately. Um, good luck. Kind of annoying, actually. Um, the CRs are actually rebuttling up too. All right, cool. God cards. All right, so. Secret Rare American Gods, as we're going to say with these. Light Plays 167. Is that really near mint down there for $500? And that's that's for your GBI Gods. Uh, JMP Egyptian Gods. Oh, boy. Light Play for 44 Near Mint 150 Yikes, man. Obelisk the Tormentor is tormenting my wallet. Other J, this is the JMP one. This is the playable one. Light play for eight. Man, fifteen. That's not horrible. But those collector gods. Uh, that's just. That's just for the uh, the American one. Slifer. This is also as bad. It looks this bad. Light plays are. Wow, they're up there. Five hundred for near mint. Um, 11. Oh my gosh. Some would say that these are criminally undervalued. Um, the movie Annie Manga. So this was the other way to get this. Light play for 46. Uh, near mints are 190 on these. And that's from Overdose. Alright. I see you. That's, uh, that's real bad. Playable Jump Slifer. I think these have calmed down a little bit. These are 33s. 
And then we push on up to the $34 mark. All right, well, um, Shimmer Me Timbers, the Winged Dragon of Ra. Oh, light place, $218, $19. We had up to the $400 mark. So, hit me with this. Winged Dragon. I love how it searches for, um, TCG Player really needs to fix their system. Their searching is, uh, broke. Hey, look, 175, misprint. What is misprint about this? The name is a little bit down? <laughs> I guess. Alright, so, gotta give it up for having to search these all individually. The JMPS Raw, this is the old magazine one, these are 24 bucks. I love the Chum Jump cards are finally going up in price. The Winged Dragon of Ra. Uh, let's search for a secret rare here. Oh, no, that takes me back to the gods. ITT on Marco Watch today. Uh, we show that TCG Player's system was better underneath the previous iteration and that they should really change it. But see, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, well, those are your Egyptian gods. BBT Dark Magician and Company. Oh boy, these are the original 2002 collector tins. These are... Hello? So much heavy and light playback here. Uh, light play, we get up to 69 bucks. I guess acceptable. Whew, 129 to 130 for the original 2002 tin. Think about that. That's just... For one single card, well, okay, to be fair, the product is, what, 19 years old at this point in time? So it would make sense for it to be forty-two fifty for a light play. And we start to head on up here to higher numbers. 115 for to 117 for red eyes. That's, uh, I guess what you get. Blue eyes, white dragon. Oh, boy, light play for 31. That's surprisingly low. All right, uh, one, 136 for Deer Mint on that. That's ridiculous. Beast Gold Dragon. Oh. You can get uh, Slobbered On Editions all day long for two bucks. Um, destroyed Editions also. My favorite. Uh, Deer Mint down here for 82.50 actually. Huh. They just decided to ruin the market. Well, the Tin Black Skulls were something. That's good to see. My boy Lord of D gonna be worth something? Let's check the Lord of D. I'm curious. He's definitely gotta be the weakest one of them all. And before he's not. Oh yeah, light play for ten bucks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Twenty-two bucks for near mint. Poor Lord of D. Man. Imagine being the weakest of all of the secret printings. That uh that feels real bad. Alright, well, um last one we have here is Summoned Skull from the old tens. I play for 25 all day long. You're meant for 45. All right. Basic stuff on the tins. And, of course, you'll be lucky if you can find any tins in. I, I just see here that somebody bought one of these for, like, 800. Good job. TFK stuff. So this is all, like, the foreign stuff here. Bought out. Bought out. Bought out. Uh, I don't care about the stuff in. No Sinister Serpents. But, hey, you can buy a Light Play Duster for 3500 I don't think you're ever going to play it because of the price, but there's one on the market for 3500 Vampire Lord, DCR, Fast Edition. Light play for 55 Uh There's one near me here for, f yeah, 96 all right. Gemini Elves, Labyrinth of Nightmare, First Edition. Hmm. What do we got going on back here with these bad boys? Been a little while. Plenty of damage copies, all, all you could ever want. Uh, light play for a hundo, acceptable. I see we had one near mint for 110. And then, yeah, 110 looks to be about the price. All right, acceptable. Air Knight Parashath, LOD, first edition. All right, um, continuing on along with my day. Oh, light play for 28. All right, it's acceptable. And then we hit that. Really, I have to go all the way back to page 10 for 70 bucks. All right. Demok. Uh, there's only 15 listings for DR2s, by the way, on the market. I don't know how many of you guys pay attention to that. 
IOC first edition. At least this guy's got the right text. And by right text, I mean the old text. See, 200, 110 for light play. Um, 100. All right. 86 back here. Interesting. All right. Chaos Emblem Dragon. Envoy of the Endo. Hmm. Our dear friend Envoy. Eh, 240. Jigga yikes. And then 320. All right. Sure. Is BLS as... I don't think BLS will be as bad, but this is still going to be pricey. Ugh. I'm already disgusted by this. So we're already at like the $35 mark at this point, which we're starting getting into the heavy place here. Near Mint Me. 150 All right. Pfft. Okay, maybe he is going to be as bad. Near Mint. Is he actually worse? Yeah, cool. So BLS worth more money near Mint than Chaos Ember Dragon. What a world we live in. I guess also this LOB box is on the market first, Ed, um, for 35000 And then uh, the Vintage Values Experience. Dun, dun, dun. Guys, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about today's market. And I will see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for some more cool content. Peace out, guys. Have a good room. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanCall40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by MCall40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out MCallGames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.